Round 36, what a poor round. 12 points was the top score shared by five. James Farmer and Martin Packer for their third time. Howard Cracknell with his second and last year's double winner Peter Fry and Darren Ingram register their first. There were only seven registering double figures as John Gallagher and Linda Davies bagged 11 each. 19 forgot to enter including Tim Hall and Craig Brown who both missed their first of the season. There's been a change at the top after dismal two points were registered by Messrs Cannon and Silk as they're overtaken by round toppers James Farmer and Martin Packer, now on 304 points apiece. Bernard Scott is just hanging on in the Manager of the Month competition, although after his 12 points haul, Peter Fry now joins him on 51. But with the top six only separated by two points, this could be anyone's. There were no shocks in the Champions League, with all winners from the first legs progressing. Kelvin Bell will face Chris Skinner in the first semi and Matt Morris now faces James Farmer after he crushed Frankie Merrick's hopes of the treble in the other. Two of these four are just two legs away of a guaranteed £200, all kicking off round 42. Focus now turns to the Europa League to find our next set of semi-finalists vying for their share of the £300 prize pot. Dave Richardson will be hoping to extend his two-point lead against Steve White who also picked up a poor two points Saturday. Nothing separates Andy Greenfield and Paul Douglas after they both registered six in their first leg. Kelly Shepherd is also looking to hold on to her marginal two-point lead against Richard Palmer and did Darren Ingram peak too soon as he looks to recoup his three-point deficit from the first leg against Tom Marchant. And then Saturday, it's the FA Cup quarters. Can Spencer Kingsnorth cause an upset and dispatch Frankie Merrick? Time will tell. <clears throat> Welcome to all you new subscribers. If you're interested in playing along next season, click the link in the description below and join the Facebook group. And a massive congratulations goes to Simon Thomas on the birth of your beautiful daughter. Maybe you'll miss a few more rounds now. Though Leeds maintain a comfortable mid-table position, they have only taken one win in four Premier League matches, but are unbeaten in head-to-heads, played on a Tuesday. Tenuous, I know. Southampton ended their worst ever run of six straight Premier League defeats after drawing last time out with Chelsea, finally rewarded for featuring in three consecutive games that witnessed both sides score. Although it's now been five on the road without a win for the Saints, will they be marching in or will Leeds be marching on together? Home win. Currently in unstoppable form domestically, La Liga leaders Atletico Madrid are unbeaten in 13 Champions League home games. The hosts are obvious favourites to win this leg, but the winning goal may come late as three of their last five have seen the decider scored in the last 15 minutes. Chelsea are unbeaten under Tuchel's management. This will be his first real test. Chelsea's good recent form provokes hopes of a surprise win here, although it's unlikely. Home win. Lazio are yet to lose a Champions League match this term. That, start, that stat will be well and truly tested Tuesday night by the reigning champions Bayern Munich. Lazio's one of seven competitive home wins, four of which with a clean sheet, could inspire them against the holders. Bayern were on a run of seven consecutive wins prior to drawing against Bielefeld, then an away loss to Frankfurt last time out. The only goals they've conceded in five came at the hands of Frankfurt on Saturday. Away win. With the worst home form of the championship, Birmingham hosts their polar opposite Tuesday night in Norwich. With nine wins from 15 and five wins and a draw in the last six head-to-heads, rightly start as massive favourites. The visitors now maintain a seven-point cushion at the top and have kept a clean sheet in five of their last seven outings. Nailed on away win. It's the Lions versus the Robins as a reinvigorated Middlesbrough welcome a dilapidated Bristol City who make the long journey north after losing seven straight, failing to score in the last five. We should get a winner either way as both sides are on a run of 12 in their respective home away fixtures. 
without a draw. Notably, the four victories from the last five head-to-heads -heads have gone to the away side and the Robins have won four of the last five here. I'm going against form, away win. At home, the Millers have won just one of their last five league matches, although they've now scored in six successive home games. They've only lost once to Forest here in 11 matches, but have drawn a massive eight times. Forest have now pulled clear of the red zone after just one loss in six, so are in the better form, but it's almost 20 years since they've won here, so I'm opting for the draw. Good luck and thanks for watching. Hashtag, I didn't forget Jeff.